Hey, church family. The gospel writers record for us the story of Peter walking on water. In Matthew 14, we're told that when Peter saw the strong wind and waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? I know that this story is familiar to many of you, and I know that it's easy to criticize Peter for his lack of faith. But it's worth noting that Peter was the only disciple to step out of the boat in faith. As far as we can see from the text, the boat was filled with all of the other disciples. So why was Peter the only one to step out in faith? We're not told why, but what we do know is that Peter trusted Jesus enough to initially step out and go to meet him. What we also know is that when Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and focused on the storm, the wind, and the waves, Peter began to sink. Let's pause there for a moment. Before we start to criticize Peter, let's again remember that he was, as far as we know, the only person to ever walk on water. Well, obviously, besides Jesus. Yet he made what could have been a fatal error. He let the circumstances around him overcome and distract him. I wonder, how often do we do the same thing? How often do we allow the circumstances and the storms around us to distract us and take our focus off of Jesus? In fact, when we do that, we put our problems in place of Jesus in our lives. It's as if we doubt who Jesus is when we choose to focus on the problems around us instead of him. When Peter reached out to Jesus, Jesus rebuked him for not having enough faith. It may seem harsh, But the reality was that Jesus, the Son of God, was right there with Peter. Jesus was also walking on the water. Peter originally had the faith to step out, yet he took his eyes off of what Jesus was doing. And this is a great reminder for us that we should always keep our eyes on Jesus. See what he's doing through our storms. And when we feel like we're sinking, focus again on Jesus and not our problems. I pray that we'd remember that lesson as we pass through the storms of life. Amen.